Hi Leos. I am doing your general reading. Welcome in or welcome back. In the hand just flew out. The universe is your partner. Um, I'm going to get some cards right now for the strongest energies around you. If it sounds like you're reading, my beautiful Leos, this is your, uh, I mean, if it sounds like your energies, this is your reading. I'm sorry. I was just a little flabbergasted there. I do cleanse and shuffle before my readings. I wasn't ready quite to go on camera yet, but that is definitely a sign there. And let's get started. This is good for all placements. Sun, rising, moon, Venus for the collective. Whatever resonates best for you. Welcome in or welcome back to Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. And if it sounds like your current energies, this is your reading. I have to repeat that because I have messages for certain people. And I feel that the messages are there for a reason. So I just want to do a little cleansing here. That was just so weird how that card just flung out at me and I wasn't even ready to to um, record. I put it on and then I just edit, but we're gonna get started. I know, I know it's a message. So whatever you're going through, you guys, this is uh, something to do with, it's in the hands of the universe. Meaning that there's something you're going through right now that is trying to teach you to trust something here. Timing. Leo's. All right, spirit guides, strongest energies. Do one shuffle. Hope you're all having a beautiful day today. For Leos, thank you. Happy Friday. We had our new moon yesterday in Virgo. Current energies, please. Thank you, spirit guides, for the sign of Leos. This reading is for. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Current energies, please, for the sign of Leos. Thank you, spirit guides. Anything else? For the sign of Leos. I don't know why, but sometimes it just starts coming at me. All right. Huh. Underneath the deck is refusal of the call, the dream thief. Repairing the veil, forgiveness, and the divine matrix, the, galact the galactic mushrooms. You guys, there's something around you right now that I was going to say is lining up, gathering around the power of community, and is trying to push you with a bold step forward, meaning that whatever you're going through right now, oh my God, and then you guys got the crossing initiation. Whatever you're going through right now, Leos, Spirit is telling me that there's an energy around you right now that's trying to get you into a new energy, a new vibration, taking a risk, taking a bold step forward. And if there's Leos out there who are like, well, I'm just tired of things not moving forward for me. Spirit is saying, well, everything is connecting right now around you, whether you see it or not, but we're in a retrograde. So everything is just kind of going backwards. But Spirit is saying, just keep moving forward. Just stay focused and know that wherever you're at, you're crossing into a bigger realm. That's what I feel. I got a lot of cards today for you. I have the sky bridge possibility for unions. Like This is crossing, you guys. There's two giant cliffs and in the center of those cliffs is the giant ball of light sun optimism something is trying to connect for you it's the same cards over and over root girl the sun self coming back into an energy of your strength leo coming into an energy right now around you of realizing that there's things that you've been disconnected with spirit is saying everything is connecting but it's all in divine timing don't give up hope on something is really what I feel here. The beloved radical acceptance, the heart, the lion heart. You guys, this is about you accepting situations in your life for what they are and you moving forward towards new ventures, new beginnings. I have sky dancers, surrender, letting go of things, trusting in divine timing. And who's this? I have straddling worlds. You're just wandering between realms. All right, you guys. If your energy right now feels like you're trying to get things to move, things are just like starting to become like, it's because you're just in like an initiation phase right now. Uh, once we get into Libra season in a few weeks, well, next week, and the, the retrograde is over towards the end of September, things are going to start moving forward. And then they have the deep diver diving into a task. Meaning that right now, just focus on what it is you want to create in the next few weeks. We had the new moon yesterday. 
And right now, everything is moving forward, but you have to believe that wherever you're at right now, you're right there on a, on a bridge, okay? Envision yourself right here. Wherever you've been the past six, seven months, spirit is trying to push you into a new energy, a new vibration, new excitement, new adventures. Because I think that what you've been through, you know, what I feel what you've been through is a little bit of stagnation. And it's okay because my Leos are all about fire, ambition, passion. And right now, spirit is just pushing you into a new thing, a new vibration, a new energy. They want you to just dive into tasks that you can handle. In other words, focus on just organizing things that you can organize around your own energy and know that wherever you're at, you're just straddling between something. Something is about to break for you in the next few weeks. I feel that there's things you have to heal with yourself right now in order for things to move forward. Mm, that's what I'm feeling. I'm going to look at your recent past because that's what I like to do. There's always messages there, my beautiful Leos. And then I'll look at what's coming in for you. And then Love Crossing at the end. Recent past. I have the Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, High Priestess, Four of Cups. Wait a minute. And the Devil. Hmm. Boy, you really started analyzing situations recently behind you that your intuition told you were not good for you. I feel that you came into a queen of air intuitive energy about everything that you've been tied to in an unhealthy way. And recently behind you, I just kind of feel you're in an evaluation mode. Looking at things like, well, have I really been chained to it? Is it really what I want? Recent past for Leo's strongest. What do I need to see, spirit? Thank you. For the sign of Leo's. Anything else I need to see? Strongest recent past. For the sign of Leo's. Thank you. Anything else? No, but they gave me a lot. I only wanted a little. Oh, look who the last card is. My beautiful Leo's. All right, let's look. There's the High Priestess. Five of Wands and the Knight of Earth. Well, whatever you've been through had to teach you something about emotional disappointments and time to leave so you can start new beginnings. I have the pool, eight of cups. I know what I'm seeing here. I always go about how I feel, you guys, not just the cards, but I have two knights. So the knight of earth and the knight of air is telling me recently behind you is, you um, were after some type of information. You wanted truth, you wanted to know something, but at the same time, you were methodically moving in a slow direction. I feel your intuition kicked in immensely about certain things and people that you could not be on the same page with. I feel recently behind you is you left situations behind. You knew it was emotionally time for you to leave and it had you had to go through this. It's something you once wanted, but you realized it's not what you wanted anymore to get you to kick you off the cliff, to take a new leap of faith towards something. You knew it was time for you to move forward, and it's with the Queen of Fire. All right, let's look. I got the King of Swords, beautiful King, Four of Cups. I'm sorry, Five of Cups. Well, the King of Swords is all about truth, integrity, honesty, the visionary, the king who doesn't sway. You had your truth about a lot of emotional disappointments. I feel it pulled you out of a rabbit hole of emotion. I really do. I don't know what you've been through. Oh, I do see you now. I have the Star in Reverse. This is a card about hope and faith. It's in reverse telling me that... There are some things you gave up hope and faith in that um, I feel that emotionally it drained you. Like you didn't want to deal with it anymore because then I have big judgment. And that's a big major arcana telling me that whatever you've been through coming into your current energies, you had to go through something because it had to push you in judgment mode about the things in your life that you had to stay in your truth about with integrity and about the things that you need to let go and heal from. It's what I feel. I have Leo in front of me, the king of fire. That's you. That, you. You showed up twice in your recent past. Three of cups, queen of pentacles, and then I have strength and courage coming into your current energies. Strength and courage is all you, Leo, and so is the king of fire. This is all you. And this is just telling me that recently coming into your current energies, you had to muster up a lot of strength and passion and determination to move forward with something in your life. And it's about your stability about being a success. 
but I feel that there were things in your life that were blocking things coming together for you in the tree of love and life. I just feel that your intuition has been telling you something and they were telling you it's time for you to move forward because right now you got too many bridges. You guys, you guys got a bold step forward. You got the bridge, possibility for unions, and then you guys got the crossing. It's right there. Spirit is saying everything's connecting for you, the galactic mushroom. It's just not time to explode yet. It's almost there, all right? The divine matrix. And you guys got community, all right? Everything is connecting. It's just right now we're in a little bit of a phase of, um, I was gonna say installation. It's a phase of before new installations, new installations of your energy. It's just a little bit of a withdrawal period right now and focus on dive into tasks that you can handle. Let this move how it's supposed to in the next few weeks because I'm gonna look and I wanna use the compass cards and I don't know why, I haven't used those in a few days. Um, we're gonna start looking right now. These are gonna roll in in the next week to two weeks, you guys. Always do if this is your reading. I have Ride the Wave, Dry Desert, and then I have you showing up, strength and courage. Be open to new things, Leo. The world is in your back hand and you are reaching out with a lot of strength. This is about riding the wave in the next few weeks because things are going to move forward. The dry desert is a card of resourcefulness. We may feel like nothing's moving, but Spirit is saying everything is moving. Ride the wave. Put your hand out. Get excited for new ventures is what I feel they're trying to tell you. Things are gonna start moving forward very fast, right after this retrograde is over for you. Incoming for my beautiful Leo's spirit guides. What do you wanna tell the sign of Leo's about the incoming energies? Thank you, strongest. Incoming energies for the sign of Leo's. Thank you. Anything else? No, that's perfect. Okay, everything is coming together. I have come together. You see this? I got two giraffes and in between the giraffes I have a beautiful heart of gold and on top of the heart of gold is a stork everything is coming together they want to tell you don't lose hope and faith it's card number eight yes I'm looking at something your strength and courage is card number eight right you guys Stuck in mud. All right, you see the elephant? You're not stuck. You have the strength and courage to get out of any situation you may feel has been stalled out because underneath that they gave you strength. You have the resourcefulness. Underneath that is dry desert. Trust your intuition through the moonlight and hold on to something you want with your magic prayer things are going to start flying. I just feel like Spirit is just telling me that everything in the next few weeks is testing you on your strength. You are the lion. You have the lion heart. You have the strength and courage to, to pummel through anything that is making you feel like you can't move forward. Spirit is saying, oh, you have the strength. This is a test, a test of time, I feel. Next card out is I have the one ring circus and there you are again on your elephant. You guys, come on. The elephants are the most beautiful creatures. They don't forget anything. They have an immense amount of strength. They mean no harm to anyone unless they feel attacked. Spirit is saying, get on your elephant, Leos. Sit on your cliff above your body of emotion. And there's the new moon. We just had it yesterday. They're telling me to hold on to something that you want to manifest in the next few weeks. I have coming apart. Why is everything coming apart? So things can come to fruition, you're wishing well. And this is what Spirit wants to say. Sometimes things have to come a little bit apart so everything can come together. They want you to muster up the strength and courage to trudge forward. You take charge of situations in the next few weeks. You have the strength. You put your hand out. You know where you've been with the world behind you. Be ready for new adventures before you. And that's what I feel Spirit is telling me, telling me to tell you today. You guys, it's, it's you're coming out right now. It's, it's a bold step forward into a new realm, a new vibration, a new energy. Hold on to something you truly want. Put the energy into things that you want to accomplish right now. Everything will come together. All right? That's what they want to tell you. I'm going to get some messages from Spirit today about this reading. It was beautiful. I felt the strength and courage. This is about you coming back into your lion heart. You guys are fixed. You guys are beautiful. 
And now this is time for you to trudge forward, get in that strength and courage and tackle something. So your wishes can be granted. All right. Four of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Moon. These are messages. Spirit is telling me it's time for you to get ready to take a new journey from the things in your life that you've been taking a time out from that may have wounded you in the past. Let's look. I'm going to ask right now. Messages from my beautiful Leos. And then I'll get some angel messages. And then Love Crossing at the end for those of you dealing with someone. Messages for Leos today, Spirit. Thank you. If you can tell Leos anything today about this reading, what do you want to tell Leos? Thank you. Any messages for the sign of Leos? Thank you, Spirit. Ah. Anything else? Thank you. I'm sorry when they flip out like that and they land in my hand. There's a message there. I have the beautiful magician under the deck. This is what Spirit wants to say to you. You have the power. The power of creation is in your hands and energy. All you have to do is believe. I can't express enough about that card. I have the Ten of Pentacles. This is everything you want, Leos. Your ultimate stability. All you have to do is keep putting out there what you want. All right? This isn't about wishing. This is about believing. And if I don't care if you believe it or not. I believe in the power of manifestation. I practice it every day. Stay in your truth and integrity about things. Be the visionary, the king of air and keep putting work into something. Don't allow emotional disappointments to keep pulling you down something that was never healthy for you in the first place because then the devil's showing up. Okay, let's look. I got them like this and this is how I shall take them. The first card on my left is the Four of Pentacles. You guys, this is about being stubborn, holding on too tight to something, sitting on your little chest and I'm not, I'm not budging and it's with Scorpio in reverse, all right? That's the dark night of the soul. Spirit is trying to tell me to tell you that there's some things in life that you have to transition through to shed an old you. It's time to cut the rope from things you've been holding on to that aren't serving you any longer. I have temperance in reverse. Six of pentacles upright. Interesting. Temperance is all about patience, balance, blending. Spirit is saying if you would... Okay, I'm going to be nice. If you would stop being in this energy of wanting everything now, everything will come together. You will receive. Don't lose an energy of you want it now. It will come to you. You must believe. Keep putting the work into something. I have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, shit. And I have it with an Ace of Wands. It's, it's interesting how they gave me one reversal and one upright. I don't do reversals unless they fly out in reverse. This is about a passionate brand new opportunity is always with you because you are fire and this is your wand. You guys are all about new inspiration, fire, passion. Go after the things you want with new passion, new inspiration. The Queen of Earth in Reverse is telling me that stop focusing on the things in life that made you feel ungrounded, made you feel like you didn't get what you deserve. Go after something new. That's why you got strength all over this reading. I have the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is about your wish fulfillment. Spirit is saying that if you don't believe in something with love, if you, if you always are putting something out there like, well, that can't happen to me. It didn't happen last time. Your wishes will not be granted. And the last card they gave you is the Four of Swords. And that is a card telling me to tell you to get more downtime, reground your energy, reroute yourself into the earth, lay down your heart and mind and get more rest leos what i feel this whole reading is trying to tell me is for you to realize that there's some things in life that are worth holding on to and there's some things in life you must let go of so we can move forward all right and that's and you know what you guys are my north node and in all honesty i've been focusing on that lately i'm thinking there's some things that i just need to let go of and just go towards new things a new way and so this is in me. This is my drive. But you guys right now, I feel spirit is just telling me, know that where you're at right now is initiation of crossing into a bigger vibration, a bigger realm, a new beginning. Go after the things you want with new passion. Just do it. Reground yourself. Get more rest. It's all going to come to you. You have the power of creation and never give up on your wish. Never, ever, ever. Stay in your truth and integrity. Be the visionary. It was a beautiful reading today for you, Leos. 
I feel spirit is just telling me that whatever you got coming in for you in the next few weeks, it's positive movement forward. But right now, just ride the wave, all right? With a lot of strength and courage and go after what you want with new inspiration. My beautiful lions. All right, a few messages today from spirit guides. It's never a coincidence. I saw strength all over this reading. You guys, this is all about you getting your strength and courage and that's who you are. I don't, I don't even know who that is. I saw the purple. I thought if it was strength and courage, I was gonna be like, oh my God, but they did give you the star. You guys, come on. You guys have the star. This is what spirit wants to say to you. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of difficult situations. All right, you guys, there's the big message. Believe in yourself. I'm going to save it. That was beautiful. You know what? No, I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to see if it pops out again. I'm going to do one shuffle. Messages for my Leos today, Spirit Guides. Thank you for the star. Beautiful card. What would you like to tell Leos today? Two to three cards, please, for the sign of Leos. One or two more cards. If you can tell Leos anything today, what would you like to tell the sign of... I don't know... I don't know why that popped out like that, but I don't know. I got like little chills. I don't even know why. I don't even know why yet. I don't, I don't know why. All right. Let's look. This is what they want to say to you, Leos. The first card to my left is the six of Raphael. Angel Raphael gave you the six. Embrace your inner child and you know the one you forgot about. New friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. This is like, they're trying to tell you, get back into an energy of playfulness, Leo. Be that playful cat. I got the King of Raphael. Angel Raphael has shown up big for you today, the King. Yes, it is safe to trust yourself. The ability to accomplish many things at once. It says, follow your creative passions. Leo, come on. Who's this? They gave you the three of Ariel. Angel Ariel. Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. Things are coming together. Follow your creative passions. Last card they gave you is card number 14, solutions. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energies. All right, you guys, that was a beautiful reading today. I really do feel the big message today is follow your creative passions. Just know that whatever you've been through, it's healing and forgiving energies. It's safe to trust yourself. Embrace your inner child. Be more playful. Have more fun. Everything is about to open up and come together for you. All right? Beautiful reading. I, I wish you all many beautiful blessings, but I'm rolling into love, crossing now. And if you are in a harmonious relationship or not dealing with anyone, thank you for viewing me. I truly appreciate your love and support. I wish you all many beautiful blessings, a beautiful weekend ahead, and an amazing week to two weeks coming up. All right, you guys. Thank you. For those of you dealing with someone, I'm going to get one deck. Ask for the strongest energies, and they may or may not be all your person's. I, I just go by how I feel and I keep going over. I keep looking over here. So I'm going to use that deck. I haven't used it. I don't think in a while, but let's look. All right. Nighttime anxiety with the queen of cups and the magician. Well, this is somebody who feels that the ultimate happiness with you is causing a lot of thought friction. Like they feel there's something here about you, son, that they still have restless nights about Leo. Yeah. Hmm. Why? 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 Oh, because they're at a crossroads. Crossroads, huh? About their self worth. Uh, what they've achieved, what they've worked hard for. They're holding on to something about their self worth with you. They're saying what the cards are saying. Now, I don't know if it, the energies can be moved around. I just want to make sure that everything shuffles and see what. The Emperor, the Star, and the Six of Wands. Well, somebody's all about um, determined to have a victory here, but they're in an energy of hope and faith and healing, meaning that if something is meant to be, it's meant to be. 
Wow. Big energy here. Let's see. Love crossing energy is my Leo's. Thank you for all these trailers. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love crossing energies for my Leos. What would you like to show me? Love crossing energies. I see you. Strongest for the sign of Leos. Thank you. Love crossing. Strongest. My Leos have been dealing with. Thank you. Anything else? Anything else? Thank you. There's a. Oh, wow. Two of Pentacles, the juggler with the world and the tower. Yike. Uh, you, this is a person who's going back and forth about something here because they're having a lot of a pit. And then the fool. I'm going to stop there. This is a this is a person who's holding back out of spite because they, they're waiting to see what they're going to receive, but they think about you all the time. Three of Wands at a distance, but they're holding back, you guys. Very stubborn energy. They don't know if they want to move something forward here with you. Is this over or is this not? I got the Two of Pentacles. And that, into tarot readers, well, I'm doing love. I'm not doing finances, but this is someone who's juggling back and forth. They're having a lot of, a, a lot of epiphanies, you might say, tower moments about can we start over? Can we take a new leap of faith? Can we wipe the board clean? I feel this person's on the fence. I, I really do. I saw the two swords earlier, but I just feel it. But I got a matching duo over here. I have the queen and king of pentacles. Wow. Now, either this person is all about their money, their stability, their success, or that's what they want with you. Now, it can go either way because this is general. This is not a personal reading. So this is a matching duo, but this person is all about success and stability. And he, it, this, is, this is what they want. I have a knight of earth. They want it. They want, this is a person who wants something big and solid. They're determined to have it. That's very slow, methodical energy. Queen of cups, five of wands. Why can't we be on the same page? There's the big emperor again, Aries. And then I got a five of swords. Now five of swords is someone who's holding on to words. Not necessarily holding on to words, but they feel the two of you can never be on the same page. And there's been some word manipulation here. I don't know who's who, I don't know whose part it's on. I really don't. It's things that have been said, things that have been done. And this is a lot of other energies. But I have a Queen of Cups with the Emperor. And I love both those cards. Um, that's Aries and Cancerian energy. But the Queen of Cups is all about love. And it's all about divine love and intuition. A very divine feminine energy. But it's with Aries. Meaning that this person is all about taking charge of situations. I feel whoever you've been dealing with is, is teeter-tottering between is this over? Can we start afresh? What if we go slow? What if we go really slow? This is like the slowest night of them all. It's like, I'll see you in about a year. <laughs> it's like, let's look at their intentions towards you. I just feel like it's someone who does think about you at a distance all the time. But they're being very stubborn, you guys. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I just, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Temperance. Very patient person. All right, let's look at their intentions. I know I can go on and on. I can spend an hour doing this. I really could, but I know you guys don't want to be here for an hour. All right. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. But let's look. All right, their intentions. I have the Almighty Magician, Seven of Pentacles, and a new Ace of Pentacles. In the ah, uh, I have the Empress with the, the Hierophant and Sagittarius Temperance. Oh, look at that. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. These cards just kind of move when they're in my hands. I don't sit the energy. I know it is. But this is a person. You see, the Druid or the Hierophant is Taurus. And that's a card of commitment. You see the Ace of Pentacles slip sideways in my hand. Like it's a person who wants a big commitment. They're all about tradition. They want, they want the ultimate. They don't feel they could have it with you. I'm just letting you know. I don't know why. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, let's put these back in here. There's the King of Pentacles again. I just feel like their intentions is someone who's going to move very slow to see how something here plays out with you. If this is somebody new, I don't think this is your, your crossing energies. Could be, but very slow, methodical energy here. Um, I'm feeling it. Love crossing intentions towards Leos, 
please. What would you like to show me? Love. Crossing. Energies towards Leo's intentions. Next few weeks. Next few weeks, please. Thank you. Two swords sideways now. Hmm. Temperance is under the deck with there's the Empress and Eight of Cups. So this is a person who's going to be weighing the odds. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like who there are intentions in the next few weeks. Honestly, they want they want something big and solid from you, Leos. Or they're gonna try to give you something big and solid, but with Temperance and the Empress. Hey, it's like this is a person who's got the patience of a saint. They're just sitting back like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles, card of stubbornness, holding back. I have the Seven of Wands, someone who's claiming their personal power, standing their ground. Four of Swords is sideways. Telling me it's a person who is in an energy of defensiveness. And they're holding on tight to something here. And it has something to do with healing. Eight of Swords still in their head about something here. Three of Pentacles, a lot of people in that picture. Seven of Cups, very disillusioned about love. And it's somebody who wants clear communication. They want to know the truth about something. It's what I feel. Two of Swords is sideways. Now it's in sideways. You guys, the Two of Swords is telling me this person is on the fence. They don't know whether something new could be resurrected here or something needs to just be over. But I just feel this person is having a hard time letting go of you. That's what I feel. Because here comes Scorpio and the last card, drum roll, is the Ten of Swords. You see, the Ten of Swords is a hurtful, a lot of hurtful completions here, but Scorpio is here telling me transformation. Like it's someone who wants to shed an old, old, they want to shed all this. They want all of this to be over. Anything that's hurt them between the two of you, this is a card of a completion. The sun is in the background, but Scorpio is here telling me that it's someone who wants to shed something like a dark cloak between the two of you. What they want to do is they want to, they want to reverse something new. But I just feel this is a lot of defensive energy here. It's someone who's holding on tight to something and it's someone who's standing on their ledge. Very, very combative about something here. Uh, they're fighting and it has something to do with their own personal power and they're holding on to it, Leos. I do feel that whoever you've been dealing with wants to communicate with you but are very disillusioned about some things here with the seven of cups like maybe they feel like they've been treated like an option or you felt like you were an option they want to clear something up with you and that's what i really do feel and i feel whatever you've been dealing with in the next few weeks uh i feel like someone's going to put a little work into this to see what they get back i really do and i feel that if they don't feel they're getting back what they want in return they're going to pull back and wait. This is what I feel because they feel you have been the one. All right. I'm going to leave it there. All right. Right now, I feel you should focus on what you want and get that ace of wands in your hands and go after new inspiration, new creativity. You know, you guys got the star that flew out. You know, the end of difficult situations. Believe in yourself. All right, you guys. Thank you for viewing me. I wish you all many beautiful blessings. Have a beautiful weekend. Have a beautiful upcoming next few weeks and thank you for your love and support and I'll see you next time.